Okay. Ah, some of that. All right. We're live. We haven't been live in a little while. So we're live. Um, pretty nice day today. I gotta admit. You guys are underneath the umbrella. That's what that noise is. I'm just get it a little out of the way because it's right there. I just want to keep the sun off of the camera. Yeah. Well, there it is. Okay, I'm going to grab a couple more horses. And I uh, should be back. Pop's here. Hello, Pop. Um, and uh, check them out. You guys can watch some horses for a little bit. Leona's here. Hello. I'll be back shortly with Carol's here. Hello, Carol. Be back uh, pretty quick. We'll chuck Lean out. Rue. Gracie? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll be back.
What a day. It looks like Rue and Roni are having a bit of fun. It's nice to see. Okay, I'm going to bring you guys back a little bit. Right there. Oh. Okay, I've actually... Uh, uh, Carol says, I love the sleeping horses. So cute. How they dream. It looks like they're running. I believe they are. Hello, Roger. Okay, everybody hang on a second. I'm just going to fill up the arena water. Ruby's kind of got the last couple of inches of it working, but let's top it up. And uh, might as well watch the boys because they look like fun. And something like that, maybe. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, while we wait for that to fill up, I thought I'd pop back, say hello to everybody. So um, it is a pretty quiet morning. I can't say that there's too much really to uh, report on. Horses are doing well. Um, let's see, I was a little worried about Rony yesterday, so I actually Put him on his own for a day. Turns out he's fine. <laughs> totally anticlimactic. What, what's going on with Ruli and Gracie? That is, that is unusual. Let's zoom in a bit. Uh, yeah, every once in a while, you know, you kind of check on the horses and see if they're eating or pooping right or whatever. And uh, gee whiz, eh? Don't chew on the post, Ruby. A clap. Tell her no. Zoom out again, since those two are not snuggled up anymore. Uh, yeah, you know, horse health is, uh, I don't know, sometimes. You kind of get into a bit of a micromanaging mode and uh, it be a little bit time consuming, brain consuming. It's, what's wrong with my horse, if anything? Yeah. Anyways, isolating them, making sure that they're eating and drinking, uh, being able to uh, keep track of that is a great indication of whether or not they're feeling okay. He's eating great, pooping great, drinking great, so doing great. And now he's playing. Him and Rue actually have a lot of fun uh, with the um, trimming a beard game. Let's see if we can see over top of Lena. It is bright. It's cold. I think it this morning was about minus five Celsius. <clears throat> and uh, with the sun out, it's come up a bit, but it's still chilly out. Yeah, those two just stand there and do a trim the face hair game. Just back and forth, back and forth. Very um, quiet day, so I don't know. It might be kind of a boring 
yet peaceful live stream. Figured I'd just put it up anyways. As for the sleeping horses uh, video, yeah. it's kind of like this, you know, I start working away and doing things. I come out and, or come out to the arena, look over and they're all lying down, having a snooze, dreaming. Days like this, a little bit of a simple life. Airplanes, lots of airplanes. I have a text message. And that's it. I got carrots. Maybe I'll give a few carrots and then uh, I'm just going to do a couple quick things. I'll come back. So I'll be in and out. So we're just kind of. Oh, I got one, two, three, four, five, six carrots. Five, well, a couple of them are pretty tiny. So. We'll go give some carrots away and and uh, then I'll be back in a little bit. So I don't know. Maybe it's just nice to have in the background.
a bunch of statues around here. In case anybody's wondering what I'm doing, I'm doing some waters and uh, a little bit of changes to Rue's paddock for some cleaning up a bit. And when that paddock was built, there was too much um, filter cloth, which <clears throat> is like landscape cloth, but much thicker, stronger. And that goes in between the dirt or mud or clay or whatever the material is that's already here, which for us is well, mud and clay and uh, and gravel so that they never mix. Anyways, there was too much of it on one edge and he kept pulling it and he's playing around with it. And like, hey, I got to cut that one day. So today is that day. When did I build that paddock? <laughs> Summertime or something. So yeah, no worries. It only took me four months to get to that. All right, where? Geez, lots of people are here now. Yay. Uh, Pop says people are busy at work, not too many chats. Yeah, well, sometimes it takes a little bit to pick up. But it's true, it is work time. It's work time here, work time for everybody else. Um, let's see. Oh, that was too. Uh, another beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. Oh geez, Roos getting mad. Tell Tony where to go. Carol says it's strange that Gracie isn't running around. Uh, yeah, it's a real dozy day. You know, days like this, it's crisp and uh, the sun's out and everybody just wants to get a suntan. I know I would like to lay around, stand there, maybe get a hammock or something. Barbara's here. Barbara says, uh, hi from California. I love Gracie and how she works. I love all the horses. Yeah, she's a fantastic uh, uh, example of a horse. And uh, when she gets moving around and stuff, it's, it's gorgeous. So I, can't, I don't even know how many videos I've got of slow motion of her running around. Okay, I gotta watch the waters. I'll be right back.
winter time. One of the hoses is frozen. So I'll have to deal with that a little later. I'm back. Ah, Brenda's here. Hello, Brenda from North Texas. Barbara says, is Rue in the herd yet? How long does it take to join in the herd? Totally. He's in the herd. He's right in the middle right now. There's so probably a little ways back in the comments. Amanda Grimm says, hello from Indiana. Took my toddler to McKinnick Island and she has been enthralled with horses ever since. I like that word, enthralled. Found your channel last week and been watching every night. She's partial to Gracie. Ha, lovely. Uh, I don't know what island that is. I'd have to look that up. I'm assuming it's a special island. L.M. Otterson says, I can always tell which one is Gracie in the distance because the way she twists her neck and throws her head. Is that just a bad habit for her or is it an Arabian thing? Hmm. Um, I don't know if it's a, I think it's a habit. Not sure if it's bad. Um, I don't think it's an Arabian thing. I've seen other horses do it. I think it's a learned behavior. So somebody around her did it. She thought, yeah, it's a great idea. I'll do that at specific times. Most of the time she does it if she's frustrated or a little unhappy or wants some attention. Really he's yelling at her just for moving. He says, don't move. Stand still. Look how angry he really is. You guys see that? It's just it's the constant yell. Get away from me. Anyways, that really does not want to be hassled. Just don't move, don't attract my attention, don't do nothing. Look at that. She's going to yell again any second now. Ears are just back. And not for the listening type. <laughs> She's got a lot to say. Funny how she doesn't take any comfort from Gracie being there. Gracie's never bothered her too much. Whatever. Okay, moving on with some comments. Uh, so yeah, Arabian thing, I don't think so. Um, I don't think it's necessarily a bad habit in regards to something. I think it's... Sometimes I think it's stress relief. Okay, those guys are boring. Watch these two. Uh, sometimes I think it's stress relief. Sometimes I think it's just... Yeah, young. A little bit young age, maybe. Just... Hasn't grown out of it, perhaps. Like it's a a filly thing, like a young horse thing. See how Rue does that? It's very interesting to me. He never kicks. I've never seen him. Actually, I think maybe he's kicked Luke once. I don't imagine he'd kick Roni. Uh, just different demeanors about them both. Okay, what are we on to next? Oh yeah, so I don't know. Hopefully that answers question um i'm not i don't think i like it i'm not a big fan of the head shake out of gracie per se i do think it's kind of noisy um and uh would prefer if she grew out of it for sure but i do find it uh, an easy thing to read which is helpful for us humans who are usually quite dull in our understanding myself included so when I uh, get to observe her being frustrated, it's, it's pretty obvious. And then I kind of hope that I caught on to what she does before she does that. So if that's her yelling, what's her talking? If that's her talking, what's her whispering? You know, that kind of thing. Think about that. Amanda says, I'm partial to Luke. What a good boy. Well, you should be partial to Luke. He's my favorite for sure, because I've owned him for so long, but he is... He's got such a personality about him. Um, and uh, I mean, I can't even count how many <laughs> these guys, how many people have fallen in love with him. He's uh, a snuggler. He's a good teacher. He's a great trail horse. He's fantastic. Goes wherever I take him kind of thing. Never gives me trouble. Don't know why. He just goes with me. Um, once in a while, he give me a little trouble getting across some particular part. and. And we have to work on it a bit but uh, I just think that's good practice and for both of us. Roni is so playful with Rue it's actually quite interesting. Okay moving on. Rebecca's here from Las Vegas. 
Uh, Aileen says, I didn't catch it. You're watching waters? Yeah, sorry, I'm doing waters. So I'm filling up water buckets. When I say I'm watching them, it's because they'll just overfill. So I have to watch and make sure they don't overfill. Waste water. Spill all over the place and stuff. So watching waters. Irene is here from Germany. Hello. Rue is out again. Is everything okay with him? He seems to be doing much better. Yeah. Um, but just being careful. You know, it's uh, it's like for Ruli. You know, I'm cautious with her as well. If uh, anybody looks like they're giving her a hard time, I go and separate it out. And just being maybe a little micromanager in that regards. But, you know, she's a little old, a little creaky. And, uh... <laughs> Gracie, I hate my tail. Kick it. Um, look at her copying, really, though. Really settled. And Lena's just there. Doing that. She'll be lying down shortly. This is sort of, yeah, the precursor to the lying down portion of my videos that I take. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, L.M. Otterson says, a winter day like this is where I want to just close my eyes and let my face feel the warmth of the sun. It is true. The reason I think that is for me is because it's cool enough to not be hot to be in the sun, and it's cool enough that the warmth of the sun feels really good. So I think the horses feel the same way. So I really don't blame them whatsoever for just being out here, standing in the sun. Uh, interestingly enough, sideways to it, um, you know, getting a full body tan or a half body i guess maybe they flip sides okay amanda says mechanic island is part of michigan and there are no motorized vehicles on the island everything is horse drawn oh cool we had an island like that uh can't remember the name of it this is a small little dinky thing and uh when i was a kid you could only ride your bike over there i think they got cars now but very very few They're very it's a small island and doesn't encourage uh uh, motorized vehicles at all. That sounds great. Oh, geez, Leona's read about McKinnick Island and seems to like to go. Maybe I should check. Seems hot out there. No, nah, Pop, it's good, man. It's like five degrees Celsius or so around that, around five, six, maybe. No breeze. Uh, that slight breeze, man. Just a slight breeze. Um, and uh, yeah, not not chilly. I've only got just a basic, just a just a, a hoodie on, you know, a shirt, t-shirt. So it's not not bad at all. It was cold this morning. What's going on over here? Lena's like, take off. Yeah. Gracie's going for a lie down. See, there it is. This is what happens. I come over after a little bit, and she just it's out. Oh, she's gonna tell Rue where to go. Just take off. I'm trying to get a nap in. Okay, moving on. Gracie's stretching her arm like, yeah, the horses do that. After they stand around for a bit, they'll just sort of stretch out their legs a bit and stuff like that. Somewhere in time with Christopher Reeve. There's a movie. They use that island. Shirley's here. Hello, Shirley. Um, you're not late. No worries. We've only been on for 36 minutes. Go for a little longer for sure, depending on what time it is. For me, it's... Quarter after 12. So I can go for a little longer for sure. I got a couple more things. I got one more water to do. I want to do the back ones, but the hose is froze up. So, actually, it's something I should probably. Yeah, I'm going to go work out the hose. I'm going to be down over uh, that way. There's a hose that runs down to go to the back. And so I got to mess around with something over there. So if the horses kind of look like they're watching me or reacting to me which is kind of unlikely well that is why so i will leave you guys hopefully eh, let's see should we zoom out just a smidge maybe a smidge something like that okay and i shall be back shortly because i've only got to pull it out i just got to get it oh what's she doing there something like that got to get it to defrost snow's coming We've got snow coming over the next week. So I'm going to also try to uh, harrow this arena and smooth it out nicely. Because when it freezes over and snows, it's a real pain in the butt to walk on. Smoother is better. Plus, it hasn't been done in a few weeks, so... 
Somebody said I should make a video about doing that, and I've done it. And it's actually, it's not a very interesting task. So, I don't know. If anybody wants to see a, a harrowing video, let me know. Okay, I'll be back.
Rudy's drunk again. Okay, I have. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this very well. Let's see if I can bring this in pretty close to the camera. Can you see? I don't think it'll focus. Lame. It's a stick with ice hair. It's pretty cool, right? Can anybody tell me why this happens? I mean, I know why it happens, but I'm curious if anybody else knows. It just... I'm trying to keep it still. My hands are filthy. Hang on a second. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit. Is that showing up for anybody? I hope. Anyways, it looks like hair, ice hair, coming out of a stick. You see? And it's totally ice. It's just, just brushes off. You see? The science class. Welcome to science class here at Stable Horse Training. <laughs> Anyways. What is it? Why is it? Zoom in back here. All right, hang on. I'm gonna check this somewhere. Oh, hey. Just doing science class right now. Uh, let's see. I've never seen something like that stick before. Video on the Weather Channel. Please explain the icy hair. <laughs> you guys have never seen that stuff before. Wow. Oh, Ruse owners here. Um, I believe it's called hoarfrost. And uh, the reason it happens is because the wood is wet and. Um, the water that's inside of the wood because water is the only thing that expands when frozen um, the wet wet wood uh, the the water inside freezes and then um, it comes out of the uh, the grain of the wood in very small amounts and as it comes out it freezes so it has to be the right temperature it can't be too cold and uh, and so it just keeps on coming out and coming out and coming out and it makes a string it's like an icicle in a way um yeah happens to old wood that's all wet Essentially, just frost. <laughs> oh, Rony. Getting shooed away. Anyhow. So, yeah. So, there's your little science... Science, uh... Lesson for the day. Okay, um... I gotta go uh, check on the waters again. So, I will be back. Again. Well, you might be on the end yet, but...
Sometimes it's on that mat. Maybe. But her feet are in good shape, so I don't know. Okay, I finally made it back to the comments. Aileen says, I sold folks back on the saddle again. Yeah, I hear a lot about that. Toronto's moved the riding school here to more accessible locations. So check it out. Easier classes. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, I get a lot of comments, actually. Um, and I mentioned it before, definitely not alone. Older people are getting into horses much, much more. Um, one thing I'd encourage the most is just safety. Stay safe. Don't worry about riding so much. You'll get there. Good exercise. Shirley says she's 73. Never get tired of watching and learning. I'd love to train one of my own. Go for it. I mean, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a process. And uh, everybody gets to grow through it. Gracie's down. Yaleen says, do you offer geezer classes? I do. Well, it's kind of like kid classes too. The only thing about uh, older people that is different is generally um, tend to be more nervous than kids. Kids are sort of fearless. Both have the same problems of muscle control. So exercise is important. Shirley says, I'm trying to stay out of my neighbor's business. The three horses for eight years and no one does anything with them. Well... If they're just being horses, might be okay. Uh, my dad will be 80. Looks like a special dusting brush. I'm not sure what you're referring to. What are geezer classes? A geezer is an old person. So, old person classes. Kathy's here. Hello, Kathy. Brenda's birthday? Did Brenda say it's her birthday somewhere? Where did I see that? Did I miss that? Well, happy birthday, Brenda. I didn't see that you said it's your birthday. Why are we seeing statue horses? Because I've turned them to stone. Because they're quiet. It's a nice day. Getting ready for a nap. Winter sun nap. Soaking in the sun. Horses have turned the opposite direction for their opposite side. Oh, look at Rue. What a turd. Um, they're warming up now because the snow is coming. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. I think they just like it. Temperatures will be dropping like a stone. Horses copy each other or mirror each other. It's true. Yeah. So, yeah. We do have, uh, temperatures aren't necessarily dropping too much, but enough to make some snow from Saturday night on, supposedly. So it's going to get white here. Huh. What time is it? 12.40. Well, I'm running out of time for, uh, for live streams, but hopefully it's been kind of interesting. I'm going to, uh probably get on with the rest of my chores and there's really not that much going on at the moment let's do a little bit more cleanup try to fix that hose problem which is totally frozen over and uh hmm yeah a few more things more carrots apples actually I've run out of carrots gotta get more Pretty cool horse. 
Okay, everybody, I'm gonna end that there. Grab my phone back. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Should be something out tomorrow. Um, thanks for joining. And uh, hopefully, you guys have a great day. If you got a horse, you can go play with him. Probably do some of that. You're welcome, Brenda. It's just a nice day. Just keeping things quiet <laughs> scratch your horses it's good for them it's good for you <laughs> okay everybody I'll see you uh, I'll see you in the next one all right